So today I'm going to be working on the Backcountry 850 again. Um, I'm a taller guy, I'm like six foot six. So the 4.7 inch risers that come on the Backcountry, they I I rode it once with it like that just to see how they were, but they just I was kind of hunched over too weird and it was wasn't working for me. So I went on Cheetah Factory Racing and I got myself a set of seven inch gold bar risers. They're the Nux bar risers. And today we're gonna to be putting them on my backcountry. Okay, so we're gonna start with a T40 and remove the bars. Selling these risers to Ryan? Well, he's gonna try them first and see if he likes them. If he is. The fuck kind of response is that? I don't know. I told him I only want a case of beer for him, so. I think that's pretty fucking fair. Keep getting uh, comments on the can videos on TikTok saying that we need to try a diamond S can or something like that. I looked them up today, they're like fucking eight hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, huh? For the can. Fuck! What did you just do? I dropped the whole fucking clip thing down in my engine bay. Oh my god. So now I gotta pop the hood off. Yeah, I like that. Oh, just, they have writing on this side, nothing here, nothing on this side, which is the front, and then writing back there. Maybe it's so you can read it from both sides. I thought you were ordering CFR bars too. No, I didn't want to deal with the changing grips and all that shit. This I couldn't really live with. Punched over too funny. They, they actually look fairly nice. And they don't do a bad job matching your stickers that you made. Yeah, I just figured I'd put those on there to match these while I uh, wait for a wrap. Another thing, another thing you may have to do is when you pop this center out to uh, grab that bolt you dropped. Probably worthwhile to check the zip ties underneath and cut any slack free. Yeah. Well, they've had lots of slack and everything seemed to. The only thing I'm really worried about is the throttle cable. Seeming like it's pretty snug. No, I roll them there, I think. Man, that's so much better. Lean them back a bit for wheeling a little more. That looks better already. I'm thinking right there. So. That's the money shot? Yeah, although when they're tipped forward, they seem taller. Like if I yeah. Go, if I go like that, they're taller. That Well, they will be. Yeah. And then when you have it all set up, start it up. Turn your bars and everything, make sure your throttle doesn't rev up or anything like that. I think it's gonna. Yeah. Well, the other thing you can do too is you can run the cable through that way so it's not pulling on the front. Yeah. I'll have to fuck with it. Yeah. There's lots of this is fine, and the brake line is fine. There's probably throttle cable under there somewhere that can be. Um, Cool.
right, so that pretty well wraps up just putting on the CFR seven inch risers. Um, we still gotta clean up all this wire. We'll do that off camera. I did drop a piece, a bolt and the uh, retainer or whatever for the old risers down this hole here. So I'm gonna have to pull that back out, pull everything off and get that out of there. And while I'm in there, I'm gonna look and make sure, see if there, this throttle cable is tied up anywhere. And so I can get a little more room. It looks like it's pretty tight. If I can't get anything else, any more room out of it, I'm probably gonna have to get a new cable for it. But at the end of the day, I need the risers, so I can't, I'm not putting them on there just for looks, but I am very tall. So I do need the, need the extra height on the bars. But thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, hey, and another thing, for you guys that are continuing to watch the videos and aren't subscribed, please subscribe to the videos. And if you, if this is your first time watching, please like and subscribe to our channel to see more content on these sleds that we have coming and what we already have. Thanks for watching.